Have you talked with God today? Let us slow down a little bit and start our day with God. Join us as we draw wisdom and inspiration from God's Word and walk through the joys and challenges of the day. Welcome to Mango Mornings with JB, Aya, and Bernie on Mango Radio, communicating the love of God. At first thought, the idea of seeing God as a friend would astound and baffle most of us. I mean, we are talking about the majestic creator of the universe here. The same God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob who spoke a gazillion stars into existence. He is the architect of time, infinite galaxies, our almighty father, the king of everything we know, and he wants to be our friend. I mean, I don't know about you, but if there's ever a perfect instance of feeling unworthy, this would probably be it. However, incredibly, this is exactly what God desires by His divine grace. God wants to befriend us, His children, His beloved. The question is, would you like to be a friend of God? Communicating the love of God through words and music that will encourage, inspire, and uplift. This is Mega Radio on 91.5 FM in Zamboanga City and 102.7 FM in Metro Davao. And you may also listen online via TuneIn.com and TuneIn phone application. And we are live on YouTube. Friends, good morning and welcome to... Mango, Mango mornings. mornings here on Mango Radio. We are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God with you this morning. Are your host for this program, Pastor JB, Aya, and Bernie. And we welcome you for another episode of your favorite morning program here on Mango Radio. Kay wala naman julain. Maayong buntag sa inyo hang talan. Good morning. Good morning. Mega morning to all our listeners, viewers natin. That's right. Good morning mm. Zamboanga City and good morning Davao City as well. It's a cold morning here sa ato ang Dakbayan. Mm. Lami kayo magligid-ligid pa sa Katre. And people are I don't know, are they shocked with what happened yesterday? Grabe traffic, no? Yeah. Hindi gid madrawing ang dalan gahapon ba? It uh, tested our patience. Mura o, mura, mura glupig pa yung Pasko. As in, di ba usually, basta winani ka ng Pasko, wala pag tapos mag mga tao, mag dali-dali o gantong sale. Mm. Diba? Tapos karoon kayo, hala, grabe ka traffic, maski asa ka muli ko. Yeah. Maniulan pag yun. Ay, nako. So, additional challenge. So, I talked to one friend, ang hinungdan daw ato is ang mga trucks no, na nagsunod o gawas like mga delivery trucks ay mo ba yes mm-hmm. i think we have coding here na wala lang ta na aware ah. and then that's uh, tuesday <laughs> and then wag sunod-sunod manggawa sila sabay-sabay na, and then nagulan pag yud oh. and some areas in davao city was flooded Mm-mm, so yeah. that's why nagpile mm. up ang ano ang situation even sa kidapawan no natoy nagapaw nga, nga kanang river mm-hmm. so additional challenge no we so, hope that everyone is okay yeah. and uh, we pray as well that everyone is safe and warm today mm-hmm. here in Davao dahil medyo makulimlim and uh, it's rainy. Mm-hmm. Keep warm, stay safe and dahan-dahan lang sa biyahe on the road. Mm. That's right. And keep cool. Head yes. cool. Para wala road rage. <laughs> yes. Well, friends, we welcome you to a brand new episode for today. It's uh, episode number 19 entitled Best Friend. Mm. The nature of a friend's love, and uh, today, ating masasaksihan 
at malalaman at pag-aaralan kung ano nga ba talaga ang tunay na kaibigan. Mm-hmm. No? And of course, by now, we already have a relationship with Jesus Christ and of course, our God, the Father, and we consider um, Him as our greatest friend, hey. hopefully, sa ating mga buhay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's very uh, John 17. Mm-hmm. Ah, what Jesus said, no, that He considers us as friends, no longer as servants, but as friends. That's And definitely, right. no, He revealed to us the secrets of the kingdom, which is mm-hmm. very, very good. And for those that don't know Him, you know, to know Jesus is an opportunity indeed, because, you know, you get to know who the Lord is. That's, That's right. true. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, we invite you as our friends Dear friends here on Mango Radio, to interact with us through our interaction platforms. May mga options tayo no sa ating text lines yes. and the YouTube live stream. So check out our YouTube. That's Mango Radio Philippines. And once again, umakyat na naman ang number of subscribers. Uy, wow. Thank Uy, you oh so ma. much. Uy, and thank you always for your prayers. We have met new friends. And uh, we are so blessed that we're able to do this, no? To bring glory to the Lord. Sa na boses ko every single day. So hello to our live chatters joining us right now for episode 19, best mm. friend. Ayan, mm-hmm. so may mga mensahe na tayo dyan. I believe si, iba na naman ang ano, ang first, ang first honor. First honor. <laughs> Very Christy, ano na? <laughs> May nauna na sa kanya yeah. for today. Aww. But we will take time reading them mm-hmm. later no sa uh, ating other segments. But DJ Aya, would you yes. please uh, give them our text lines? Mm. So for our radio listeners, good morning as well and we hope that you are doing good on this rainy morning. If you would like to interact with us as you prepare for your day, mm-hmm. you can text us at our text lines 09984905382 for smart users and 09151867269 for globe users. Mm-hmm. Again, for your birthday greetings, your shoutouts, your prayers or words of encouragement for fellow listeners tuning in this morning, you can text us at our text line 09984905382 for smart and 09151867269 globe make sure to include your name and your location so that we can greet you on air and know how Mango Radio Signal is doing in your area. Same mm-hmm. goes for our live chatters mm-hmm. ngayon sa ating episode 19. Make sure to include your location because if you're in Davao, it might be your day to win your very own Mango, Mango Radio, Radio Bag! bag. <laughs> Ta-da! Marami it's na ang nakinabang. It's the baby bag. <laughs> Naging trademark na talaga siya no, na lalagyan ng baby. But uh, of course, wag tularan. Oh, wow. wag tularan. You can put laundry, you can put books. Yes. It's very durable. Mm-hmm. It's very good. It's very nice. I've tried that on a rainy day, pa uwi. Tapos syempre, lakas na ng ulan, di ba? But it's truly waterproof. So your stuff in there, they're all safe. safe. Ah, yes. Akala ko, ginawang pandong, di ba? <laughs> Pwede din. Pero mabigat na yun, dami hong dala. Oh, pero ka, mm-hmm. yung, kailan ba yun? Nakita natin si Pastor June Hernani, mm. gumawa ng kape, may mango bag. Yes, yeah. nandun lahat ng gamit oh, niya. Yeah. Shout out to Blue Lizard Coffee Trading. Ayun, kape that's na. That's right. Our ministry partners, including Kairos Kitchen, nandun ako kahapon. And yeah. I experienced wow. their alfresco setup with my parents, of course. Sila yung date sa Valentine's. So, malamig-lamig oh. na kasi di ba, mukhang kulimlim na kahapon. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, Nindot ka ayaw. Ang experience yeah. cute and lamig. Kailang mapagkaon. Shout out to Ma'am Sharon nga um, nagasuporta sa ato ah. Oy, amen. At syempre no, ang Kairos is one of our partners definitely. Mm-hmm. And it's a blessing to be a blessing. Yeah, yes, definitely. And so they're still giving out a special treat for Christian organizations and even individuals na lang din no. Visit Kairos Kitchen and receive freebies for all your special functions and events. Kairos Kitchen is located at Inigo Street, Barrio Obrero. Davao City open from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. every day except Sundays. For queries, call 0922-800-3005 or check out Kairos Kitchen on Facebook. Kairos Kitchen, celebrate.
celebrating life's special moments. Amen. Tapos na ang Valentine's graduation. <laughs> Kapit na. Kapit na. <laughs> so, they can already book in advance for their graduation celebration? I guess so. Pero parang hindi yata ngayon graduation kasi nag-iba na yung schedule ng ating school year eh. Mm-hmm. But anyway, whatever right special too. occasions you have, go to yes. Kairos. That's right. Well, speaking of special moments, the best moment that happened in our lives were that moment when we met Jesus Christ, Uy, our best friend. And Ooh. I hope that He remained our best friend until today. And He will remain our best friend until our life on earth is over. Eternity na dito ang hisgutan din he. Mm-hmm. Our first song for today is from Matt Mayher singing about what a friend we have in Jesus. This is an, a, a hymn, no? Nga ilahang revise lang to make it sound more enthusiastic yeah. as we Uh-oh. celebrate our friendship with the Lord this morning and give Him thanks for this brand new day. That's here on Mango Mornings on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio. We are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God. We'll be back. That song was brought to you by Everflex, a one-stop shop for all your electrical needs. They are located at Ramon Magsaysay Avenue, Corner Clan, Davao City. You may call them at 227-2663. Everflex. That song was brought to you by Light Talk for all your lighting needs. They are located at MacArthur Highway, Davao City. Or call them at 299-1450 or 0917-723-4928. Light Talk. 
Kairos Kitchen, celebrating life's special moments, serving Asian and seafood cuisine with an alfresco garden restaurant with 80-person seating capacity and an air-conditioned VIP room that can accommodate up to 35 persons. Also accepting off-site catering, Kairos Kitchen is located at Inigo Street, Abrera, Davao City, open every day from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. except Sundays. For queries, call 0922-800-3005 or check out Kairos Kitchen on Facebook. Celebrating life's special moments at Kairos Kitchen. Quality coating ba ang hanap mo? Give your car the makeover it deserves with MaskPro. MaskPro's nano ceramic coating implies the cutting edge nano technology hailed from Japan. Experience for yourself why people are gushing over the extra gloss, extra shine, and scratch-resistant surface achieved only through MassPro's Nano Ceramic Coating. Hit us up at 0908-524-7777 or drop us a message on our Facebook page, MaskPro Davao. We're located at Sobrecari Street, Obrero, Davao City. Make it different with MaskPro, the number one trusted nano ceramic coating. Hi, you're listening to Mango Radio. In the story, weaving a beautiful tapestry for his glory. Slow down, friends, and start your day with God right here on Mango Mornings. Mango Mornings. Right here on Mango, Mango Radio, Radio, we are communicating the love of God on this rainy Wednesday morning wow, here in Davao. And also, kumusta sa Zamboanga? I pray, friends, that whatever weather we may be experiencing mm. on this morning, still we say, God, you are good. Mm. And Amen. your mercies are new every morning. Amen. So, friends, before we jump into the morning rush, let's start our day by asking the Lord, what is your mana, your daily bread for mm. us Today, para makain tayo and ready to face this day. So sharing her Devo with us this Wednesday morning and for the Wednesdays to come, Lord willing, is Faith once again. Hey Faith, welcome back to the program. Sweet mango to everyone. Mango mornings. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what mango Sweet mango mornings wow. to everyone. Wow. <laughs> Pro- Pro- ng program yun, <laughs> <laughs> Sweet jo dapat. Yes. Sweet mango. Lami and the mango. Mm-hmm. Morning. <laughs> so Faith, what do you have for us this morning from God's right. word? Okay, Your go. Reflection. So I'm very excited to share this devotional to all the listeners. To start in Matthew chapter 22 verse 37. We are taught to love the Lord with all our hearts, with all our minds, with all our souls. This is the first and greatest commandment. Mm. And the second is, in verse 39, love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -mm. Amen. Indeed, we cannot give what we do not have. Mm -hmm. We cannot sincerely love others if we do not love ourselves Mm. first. But not in a way of being vain or selfish Mm -mm. it is that before you can give the highest good to other people you must be able to experience it yourself Mm. so how to love yourself so let's take a look in the acronym of love l o v e Mm. first l live a life pleasing to god Mm. is telling a lie pleasing to god No. no Stealing from someone, yeah. watching pornography, no, and sige og pa sexy para mapansin sa mga lalaki, no, Boy. ang paghubog-hubog, ang pagsigarilyo, ug unsa pang klasing bisyo. Mm, so dili gyud malipay ang ginoo ni Ana. Ang pangdaot sa isig ka tao, no, ang pakigrelasyon sa isa ka minyo nga tao, of course dili gyud na siya pleasing sa mata sa Ginoo ug sa mata sa tao 
It is not pleasing to be the cause of a broken family. Mm. It is not pleasing to be the cause of someone's hurt, devastating the hearts of people whom you love and who love you, or even your neighbor, the one you do not know. It is not pleasing to hurt people. It is not good to break someone's heart, someone's trust. Yes. It is not pleasing to live in sin. Our ancestors, Adam and Eve, ate the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, that's the fall of man. Maong kabalusad takaron kung unsa ang dautan o unsa ang maayo. Now, since we already know what is good and evil, we must choose what is good. So, L, let us live a life pleasing to God. Next is O. Obey God faithfully. Amen. A believer of the Lord Jesus Christ knows and hear His voice. Mm-mm. One pastor said, God takes full responsibility of a life fully committed to Him. Mm. So the moment that you receive, you re- surrender your life to Jesus, God becomes responsible to enforce His perfect and purpose plan in your life. So, but it takes two to tango. Right. You must hear and obey what he is instructing you to do. Diri musulod ang maturity sa isaka Kristiano. Mm-hmm. As saying goes, physical maturity bounds with time, but spiritual maturity bounds with obedience. That's right. So next is V. Volunteer yourself to good works. There is a glorious feeling when you help someone. Your heart will heal when you make someone happy, when you make someone smile. Do yourself a favor to engage in mission works or any activities of God to make Jesus known. Ayaw sayanga ang panahon. Gamita ang imong lawas ug kusog para sa kahimayaan sa Ginoo. Volunteer yourself to serve the Lord. Next is letter E. Encourage yourself always. Dili sa tanang panahon, kusgan o ka. There will surely be a time, even when you're already blessed, that you will feel discouraged, disappointed, disheartened, tired, weary, confused, troubled, and lonely. Mm-hmm. And not at all times, there will be someone to listen to you, to lift you up and carry you. Mm-hmm. Walay tao na always available for you. So remember that God put a special someone inside of you. The Holy Spirit Amen. to comfort you, to counsel you. He is the best helper. He is the best encourager. Mm. In, con- in conclusion, love yourself and take good care of yourself by presenting it holy and pleasing to God. This is your true act of worship to the Maker who loves you unconditionally and gives you chances by chances to become the person He wants you to be. So let us be molded by His love so we can love others as we love ourselves. Wow. Praise the Lord. Nice. Powerful reminder today, friends. Yes. Uh, before we even do things, before we plan things, before we interact with others, ang tanong, love ba natin si Lord? And love ba natin ang sarili natin like we love our neighbors? Because the intention of the heart that is laid bare before God. Mm-hmm. And so if we do things not out of love, then ayay. I remember guy. before, no, there mm. was this baller that ca- came out with four letters. It says WWJD. Mm. What would Jesus do? Mm-mm. So, you, you know, you ask that question every time that you are planning to do something. Yes. So, what would Jesus do if he were here to choose this? Mm. Will he do it? Okay. What would Jesus do in a situation like this? Will he be angry? Or will he show love and grace? Mm-hmm. Or what would Jesus do if someone asked me for help? Should I refuse, or should I extend my help so that that person can be, you know, uh, burden lighten? Right. So everything that you do, 
you ask yourself that question what would jesus do in this situation in this situation because that is the only time indeed that you can show that you are a friend mm. because a friend gives no not kind of mga superficial friends but definitely a kind of mga true friends because as christians we're called to be like that mm. we have to follow and emulate god's example mm. yes mm-hmm. and he did that no every day when he was here with us and um sometimes no he's also stern and he rebukes mm-hmm. that's what a friend does and in fact well, that's what happened to peter many times <laughs> yes and he was rebuked for that so also in a situation what would jesus do if i saw a friend of mine who is not living a life that is pleasing to the lord mm. so you also have that responsibility to remind yes as a friend no mm. and dili man nimo siya ihat sit Okay. Yes, but you're doing it out of concern, not out of spite. Mm. But you're doing it out of love, which yes. is a very, very important point because everything that yes. Jesus did is out of love. Mm. Right. A question for Faith: Is yeah. there someone you mohang gina consider as best friend, mm-hmm. and how do you interact in terms of kanang kailangan na siya i correct sa imahor i rebuke? Hindi siya mataha to, to tell you that. Naguna-una, Naguna-una, uh, like processing. Maybe a sister in the Lord, the close yeah. mo, not really a best friend, yes. maybe. Uh, I have a spirit mate. Shout out to Ru Victoria. Mm. Oh. So spirit Ay. mate, gita kung tawag sa iya ha. Mm. So like he's a best friend. He she knows everything that I've been through. Mm. Pero dugo na mibol na kita ha. Okay, shout Pero, out you. So para siyang confident. You. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you really know kung kinsa gitong gipadala sa Ginoo sa imo ha. Mm-hmm. So you, it's the Lord who choose someone na mao na siya imo maging best friend of mm-hmm. course. Mm-hmm. So dili ikaw na mili ang Ginoo mm-hmm. for me. So can you Ru is uh, not afraid to hurt your feelings pag naa siya kailangan she is point out nga sin or honest yes. Action, no? Yes. We once quarrel out quarrel good so yeah. nag-away me it's all about sa Ginoo so kanang mm. ana <laughs> <laughs> So gipag-awayan ninyo si Lord Yes gipag-awayan namo <laughs> si Lord so mga ka din na na. holy na, fight oh, oh, holy oh. fight so it's all about the Lord and mm. Yan, holy fight. So, basta, you will know mm-hmm. na siya ang imuhang best friend. Mm. It's important that we have that kind of sister or brother in the Lord, no? Kana masultian na to mm-hmm. sa ato ang mga uh, weaknesses or mm-hmm. kanang blind spots sa mm-hmm. ato ang kinabuhi. Because Correct. not mm-hmm. all friends are able to handle the messes in your life and willing mami now mm-hmm. that's very important and that's mm-hmm. biblical because uh, I, I think it's in colossians now we confess our sins to one another so that we will be healed and that kind of healing is holistic in its mm-hmm. approach maybe not physical no the least of all but uh, above all ang sin mong ang pinakadako na to nga problema dyan and kinasagubang no as a uh, um, effect sa sin sa ato ang kinabuhi but that doesn't mean that we are sinful right it's just that we deal with it daily because that was us mm-hmm. we got used to a sinful kind of lifestyle before we met Jesus Christ yeah. but here he is right now in our lives our friend and he reminds us na hey you are no longer that old person mm-hmm. and that's why I'm correcting you right now through my words and through this friend in Christ Mm-mm. that I gifted you with. Mm-hmm. So that means uh, gifts ang ato ang mga kuan mm-hmm. friend yes. sa Ginoo no to help yes. us walk righteously in the Lord. And uh, if you do not have any friends in Christ nga naingin ana nga character magdasig sa inyo ha mag pray for you, mag encourage, um mag rebuke, pray nga tagaan mo sa Ginoo ana because it's a very important uh, factor sa ato ang Christian walk. Right. Yeah. To At connect. At least even yeah. one. Mm. No? Oh, so oh. even one. Like in the case of David, no, he had mm. Jonathan. Mm. And um, maski og, he was dis- discouraged no? and even hunted by Jonathan's father. Mm. But Jonathan was there to encourage him mm-hmm. and to tell him that everything's all right. Yes. And I am your brother, Anna, si Jonathan, even though not by blood. Mm-hmm. Right. And well, Paul uh, had Barnabas. Barnabas, yes. Timothy had Paul. Paul yes. 
Yes. So, daghan kaayo og partnerships in the Bible. Ang term ni faith ganina is ang sa to? Spirit, spirit mate. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Dili soul mate ha. Dili spirit spirit mate. mate. Lahi naman to. <laughs> so, faith in your own life. How do you continue to be a good friend to Ru as well? Mm. Mm. Or to your other friends? Yeah, even, to the no? people around you. I believe to be a really good friend is to correct. To correct them, to rebuke them, to be honest with them, mm. and just to lead them a life pleasing to the Lord. Mm. So basically, it's uh, returning the favor yes. no, mm-hmm. and treatment. Na mm-hmm. yeah. magdina si Gaijod. Yes. No? Magni-review kay. Mag-encourage ay. Mag-encourage ay. Karot pa ko katungog. Encourage ay. O diba? <laughs> well, the term in the Bible used is spur each other. Mm. So, iron. Okay. Spur on iron. each other. Yeah. Yes. And share. share. One another's burdens. Mm. Yes. Wow. Bind each other's wounds. Mm-hmm. And this they will know that we are Christians. Mm. We are love. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Yeah. Well, Faith, salamat kaayo sa encouragement this morning from the Word of God. It's really helpful no? and timely sa ato ang topic for today about the best friend who is none other than Jesus Christ in our lives. And Amen. indeed, He's a tunay na kaibigan no? sa lahat ng panahon. Especially in moments that we go through dark valleys in our lives. Dilita niya biyaan. Uy, amen. Okay. Well, uh, metaphorically, Trisha Ampere has a song, Ulan, Describing our situation sometimes in life na nagaulan ba o mga problema o pagsulay. <laughs> but, uh, torrents. Diba? Torrents, no? Raining cats and dogs. Usahay pag with lightning and thunder. Yeah. Grabe na, Jod. But uh, the thing is, and it's very comforting, ang ginoong ato ang dalang panan. Mm-mm. So let's Amen. listen to this song as we uh, have a pause uh, before we proceed sa ating uh, deeper discussions about today's topic uh, mm. that's here on Mango Mornings here on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio and we are Communicating, communicating the, the Love, love of God. God Ang puso ko'y panatag sa buhos ng ulan hindi napapagaba dahil ikay nandiyan sa init ng pag-ibig mo ako'y mananahan hanggang matapos ang ulan pagsubok at pagluhay katulad ng bagyo hindi na babaha Feeling ko pa yung kitang masusukuban magpakailan ma.
Ito ang Mango Radio. Ibinabahagi ang pag-ibig ng Diyos. Hi, I am Don Don Landeta, a facilities manager of a telecommunications company based in Davao City. I am in my mid-50s. I easily get tired at work and at home doing family tasks. One time, my wife told me to try EXL Makabuhay Plus. Since then, whenever I get ill, sick, or stressed, or tired, I take two capsules of EXL Makabuhay Plus. And honestly, I got relieved. I recommend EXL Makabuhay Plus. It's time to invest for your health now. Ang EXL Makabuhay Plus, mapalit sa mga butika sa inyong lugar. For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Romans 6.23 Ang mabuting balita ay hatid sa inyo ng MX3. Mag MX3 araw-araw para M Extraordinary. Sa oras ng pangangailangan, sa bitin ang nag-iisang pangalan. Hindi mag-aatubiling ikaw ay tulungan. Mga panalangin mo'y tiyak na bakikinggan. Si Jesus ay tunay na kaibigan. Palaging maasahan ngayon at magpakailanman. Isang simpleng paalala mula sa Mango Radio. Busy morning? Keep your eyes on Christ. Check your time. It's already 7.37 in the morning. You're still listening to... Mango, Mango Mornings! Here on... Mango Radio. Radio. We are... Communicating, communicating the, the love of God. God. It's a beautiful Wednesday and also soggy morning. But it doesn't stop us from praising the Lord. And in fact, that song from Trisha Amper earlier, no, Ulan, ang sabi dun is, Matapos ang ulan. So what happens after the rain? Well, of course, the sun is up. But definitely one of the greatest reminders that God has for us, especially after the rain, is the rainbow. Mm-hmm. Yes. And the rainbow is God's reminder that He will never destroy the earth again by a, a great flood. Amen. Yes. No. And um, it's been going on, even though we have mga, ada nga mga experiences no, of great floods, but it's not as great as the one that totally destroyed the world. That's right. And mm-hmm. that's a reminder for us, no? That rainbow, that's God's promise for us. And also, as a friend, mm. our eternal friend, no? God always reminds us that He will always be there for us. That's yes. right. Uh, Amen. Speaking of friends, let's take time reading our messages mm. from our friends listening via YouTube live stream and watching at the same time. Mm-hmm. Amen. And our text messages as well. Hello to our first honor for today, uh, Lilani, Joy, and Dilab. First time niya daw mag uh, live stream, wow. uh, mag watch a live stream. Uy. Wow! Fine and <laughs> uh, ngayon nakita ko na kayo. God Yay. bless po. Excited ka ayo. Si Teresita Lebusada po. Ana siya nga. Good morning po. DJ Bernie, DJ Aya, and Pastor JB. Good to see you live on air via YouTube for the first time. Mm. Watching here with Mama Buday at Deca Homes Esperanza. Tigato. Ay, God bless you all. Shout out to Tigato. Hello, Silingan. Boquest. Good morning po. Salamat pala sa Mango Bag. Oy, naka- Ay, naka- Congratulations <laughs> for winning. Charlie Condes. Hello also. Hi. Good morning from Puerto Princesa yes. City. Palawan. Hi, Bing. Wow. Yeah, si Charlie is a friend of mine. Wow, ang layo. No? Nasa Palawan. Mm-hmm. Hello to Granny Christy. Mayong buntag sa Imuha. And salamat kayo sa pagpaminaw. And Ana Tabukan, it's a rainy morning daw. Indeed. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, guapo ka ito ang weather today for mga kanang melancholic nga tao. Kanaan <laughs> kayo gulan ulan, no? And chill morning. Yes. Uy, good morning po day kay Jake Barsenas, no? Mm-hmm. 6.44 a.m. nag-message. Good morning daw to DJ Aya, Pastor DJ JB, and to my buddy DJ Bernie. Hey! May buntag. Konnichiwa. Buenos dias to all the listeners of Mango. To God be the glory. Shout out to my cousin and new found friends. Also to the staff of Mask Pro. Wow. Mm-hmm. Ma'am Risa, Ma'am Jane, Ma'am Dimple, and sino pa isa? Sir Ryan. Ma'am, Sir Ryan. Sir Ryan and Ma'am Karen. Yun. 
Yun, good morning sa kanila. And also, eto pa, may mga dagdag. Hello and good morning also to Yada of Davao. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down His life for us, hmm. His friends. Oh, amen. 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 Susan of Sambuanga, good morning to you. And uh, thank you so much for quoting Proverbs 4:20 to 23. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart, mm. for they are life to those who find them and health to a man's whole body. Amen. Above all else, guard your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Preach Amen. It. Very nice. And also to Kuya Ray of That's Taxi number 942, blessed morning to everyone. Amping tatanan. Mm-hmm. Good morning, bless. Kuya Ray. At sa mga kasama mong drivers, no? Ingat Thank you. Ingat mo sa biyahe. Baby Ritzy, good morning. Way to school again. Hope uh, to have your mango bag also. Ay, mag-comment sa... Facebook. Ay, Once ne, again, pala. to our radio listeners, we invite you to check out our YouTube channel. We're already on YouTube, mm. Mego Radio Philippines, episode 19, entitled Best Friend, The Nature of a Friend's Love. Mag-chat kayo. Maybe thoughts on the matter, yeah. what we're talking about, or just an encouragement for Share. fellow listeners tuning in and mm. fellow watchers. Yeah. Yes, and today we have a newfound friend Yes. from Davao Christian High School. As our special guest, no, and DJ Aya, you'd like to introduce her. <laughs> so today we are joined by Nikki Tan. Yes. Uh, she is the president of the Parents and Teachers Fellowship of Davao Christian High School mm. (PTF). Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good morning, Paul, and Good welcome morning. to Mango Mornings. Good morning. She is also, uh, I believe, a mother of, of two, two, two boys. 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 Yes. Yes. Mm. How old na po sila? Uh, 10 and 13. Oh. Mm. Yes. Mga teenagers na. Yeah. Oh. Yes. <laughs> They might watch the replay, so maybe you want to greet them. Hi, Duncan and Dylan. Good morning. <laughs> Oy, good morning. Oh, good Get afternoon. Your names, <laughs> mga di. <laughs> di lahat na. Yes. yes. So uh, basically, a uh, parents teachers fellowship is like the equivalent of PTA sa mga regular schools, no? Yes, Kasi yes. Kasi Davao Christian is a dedicated school for uh, basically Christian um, students, no? Yes. yes. So uh, uh medyo may difference sa curriculum maybe uh, in terms of emphasis on uh, the Christian faith. Um yeah, and um I can say that um Davao Christian High School is a very close knit community mm-hmm. and wow. um, the alumni they a lot of them teach right now mm-hmm. in the school and they uh, they work there in the school so okay. i can say that um, oh, they're wow. the the sense of giving back and yeah. of service for for to mold the christian to mold the kids in the christian faith mm-hmm. is very strong wow that's yes. beautiful mm-hmm. it's a going back to their roots Kind of, and then giving back to the kids. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. So, could you tell us uh, a little more about uh, the Parents Teachers Fellowship? What it's about? What are you guys passionate about? And what are the upcoming events? What are our listeners? So, the the PTF or the Parents Teachers Fellowship um, is represented by the parents from preschool all the way up to grade 12 mm. senior high mm. so a set of officers is elected every year mm. during the parents general assembly mm. then um we have uh we have a set of projects that Uh, that we always undertake for the school. Mm-hmm. Of course, this year, actually during the pandemic, parang na-stop yung PTF because no. of the pandemic, no? Right. But uh-huh. um, this year, 2020, uh, last year, 2022 to 2023, um, nagbalik na. Praise mm. God! Yeah, and um, we, we, we had to navigate our way. Parang nag kapa kapa pa mm-hmm. because um because of course we didn't know what what was what we were allowed to do right mm-hmm. post pandemic yeah so post pandemic and um mm-hmm. but uh but we are very grateful because we work closely with the school's administration mm-hmm. and uh we were able to do um meaningful projects like the va- vaccine vaccination rollout mm-hmm. we did uh, two two drives of that mm-hmm. and uh we do uh we help the student council also of the school 
school oh. during their projects like they had this wow day or they call it words of wisdom day wow. wherein um, we invite speakers mm. inspirational speakers to talk to the kids about uh, career that's and so their fun. purpose mm. and um, one big project that's coming up is our parenting talk uh, we consider mm. this to be our banner project mm. uh, and we've uh, in the past as, as early as um, I think 20 to 2012, mm. um, we've invited a lot of uh, speakers such as Francis Kong, mm. Dr. Queen Ali Chua, wow. uh, Anthony and Maricel Pangilinan, and mm. also wow. Joy and Edric Mendoza. Wow, yes. So, nice. so yes. Um, this project is typically received very well mm -hmm. by the community. Mm -hmm. uh, and this year, we're very fortunate to have um, Doctora Maria Teresa Gustilio Villasor. Yes. Wow. Um, she currently practices a psychologist, a clinical psychologist, currently mm -hmm. practicing in Makati Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And um, her thrust is really, and her specialty is really on child and adolescent psychology. Wow. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, Interesting. Yes. Yeah, so I think um, we hear about mental health yes. a, a lot, lot. these yes. days. And uh, we see things on the news also. Mm -hmm. So, um, kami as parents, yeah. um, I was saying to a friend the other day that it's not like a physical ailment mm -hmm. that you can really see it like there are symptoms that arise That's right. that manifest yes. but um, when we talk about mga mental issues we like ako as a parent yeah. how do I know I don't really know how to navigate that mm -hmm. and um, because of a lot of things and a lot of problems nowadays like mm -hmm. social media mm -hmm. uh, depression anxiety oh, yes. self-harm yes. suicide even suicide mm. yes gaming addiction oh, yeah. and um, low self-esteem of the kids and we Pretty see this much. a lot uh -oh. in school mm. um, and also peer pressure we decided that this would be a really relevant topic uh -oh. to 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 try to uh, explore and know more about yes. mm -hmm. so that's why we invited Dr. Avilia Sor here to Davao mm -hmm. and uh, that's why we came up with the talk mm -hmm. um, the, 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 it, the, it, the talk is entitled Help, Help yes. or mm -hmm. Heed Emotions Love, Love Perfectly, perfectly. Mm -hmm. so this is about family mental health and wellness and uh, emerging issues today mm -hmm. oh, wow. yes. so we say emerging issues because this is just you know going out especially during the pandemic time mm -hmm. no now when people yes. were locked down and uh, they don't know where to go and what to do and mm -hmm. no interactions physical interaction so mm -hmm. walang comfort na makuha mo you know when you have a you know a crying shoulder yes or probably a hand to comfort you yes yes and um a lot of people now especially you know, that's why we're putting this up here in our culture and uh, arts segment it's because um this is now becoming the culture so it's like people are trying to fight back and you know to to know what they're supposed to do and what they can do and as a mm. parent you're doing that because yes. you're concerned right. for your kids yes right. yes um the 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 isolation that was brought about the by, by the pandemic i mean even if tayo as adults we mm. ourselves feel helpless sometimes and we don't know who to turn to mm -hmm. or where mm -hmm. to turn to how much more for the kids yeah. yes. exactly yes. exactly i like how the focus is on the children mm -hmm. yes uh, and that i think maybe for for me personally that's still kind of unexplored because we know about teen mental health we yeah. know about adult yeah. mental health mm -hmm. but what are the kids mm -hmm. yes dealing Younger. with yeah the younger kids right. yes. and we see it um, we see it manifesting in a lot of ways mm. like even small ways mm -hmm. so before the problem gets out of hand or right. th um, things get more um, uh, more alarming yes. uh, like kids act out in school uh -huh. they hurt their classmates oh, oh. Um, verbally they they the language that they mm -hmm. use so mm -hmm. uh, as early as hopefully that we can try to educate mm -hmm. we can try to educate the parents and the guardians mm -hmm. right. um, but this sat the, the talk is happening this Saturday ah. in the Vimapa campus mm -hmm. of Davao Christian High School mm -hmm. um, at one o'clock 
uh, this talk is actually open to the public mm. and nice. uh, admission is free. Wow. wow. Yes. Yeah, so we'd like to invite all your listeners and yes. kayo din if you have time. Uh, we're inviting everybody, uh, also parents, if they can bring their teenage children. Mm. Uh, that would be really good because I think we have a lot to learn. Mm-mm. And uh, Dr. Avilia Sor has a lot of experience. She's actually 73 years old already wow. currently. Wow. Yes, and um, I understand that it's really her passion Uh-oh. to reach out and talk to Uh-oh. parents mm. because this is really um, one of her main advocacies now. Mm. Yes. So that's this coming Saturday, po. No? Yes, this coming mm-hmm. Saturday at uh, Davao, Davao Christian, Christian High School, mm-hmm. the V Mapa campus, because okay. there are two campuses. Yes. So yeah. it's at the V Mapa campus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are they required to like get tickets or to probably register? Uh no, no. Um, oh. On site, na. Wow. Okay. Yes, yes. Wow. So they can just come, and then uh, we'll have some uh, just a simple pre-registration before they enter okay. the auditorium. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. Yung oras po ulit is one, one o'clock, one p.m. One to three thirty. Because we'll have the talk proper first, and then we'll um, then. Uh, Dr. Avilia Sor will lead like a forum, parang question and answer mm. part Mm-mm. portion. Mm-mm. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Important. Ma'am very Nikki, important. salamat ka isi muhang time this morning. We are so privileged to have you here. Yeah. Thank you and very much for inviting me. You're welcome. Anyone you would like to greet aside from your two boys? <laughs> <laughs> the two um, friends. Uh, good morning and uh, hi to my fellow PTF officers. Mm-hmm. Uh, Michelle, Wawi, Marie, Cynthia, Sharon, and uh, the rest. Uh, no, so we work, we really work closely together. Mm-hmm. To, to, to for the school's projects. Mm-hmm. Yun. So, yun lang. so before we go to our ministry partners, yes. uh, maybe just one final encouragement to fellow parents mm-hmm. when yes. it comes to helping their kids' yeah. mental health. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I, I, I encourage uh, parents to listen, to try to really listen to their kids mm. and just take time out to ask them mm. like if there's something the matter or just really ask them about their day, mm. pay attention to them and hopefully we can help them. Yes. We can, we can uh, heed their emotions and learn to love them more perfectly, mm. Mm. love them better also. That's Beautiful. a nice message. Yeah. Well, Very once nice. again, Ma'am Nikki, salamat kaayo dyan sa imuhang salamat part- kaayo. information this Thank morning. You. And uh, we wish all the best for the parents-teachers uh, partnership at Davao Christian School and mm-hmm. even to other schools. No? Kaya mm-hmm. importante yes. kaayo ni siyang uh, right. association yes. right. and yes. role. Uh, considering that parents... Uh, Consider the teachers as their second parents no, sa mga bata. Yes. No? So, nakukod o kuan o grow ang teachers sa pag mold sa character mm-hmm. sa ito ang mga kabataan karon. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's uh, uh, Ma'am Nikki Tan, no? the President of Parents Teachers Fellowship of Davao Christian High School. Hello sa ating mga bagong uh, tune-in na listeners. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Uh, before we take a break, ito ang... Uh, Timbayaon, si Arnel Riluya, maayong buntag. Mm-hmm. Uy, long time. <laughs> long time no see? As in. Or no here. Hello <laughs> also to Mirna Apalis, a blessed morning po, watching the same, uh, at the same time listening ri- sa radio here from Zamboanga City. Hello also to uh, Pastor Jun Hernani. Yes. Pastor Jun! 20th anniversary nila ng kanyang wife. Bidok yan, yan. Oy, congratulations. Oh, best Today. friend daw niya. Today. Happy anniversary po. Kapi, Thank kapi. you for listening. <laughs> and Adelina Sibalios, Maayong Buntag Mango Radio. Maayong Buntag po. Salamat kayo sa pagpaminaw. Mm-mm. We'll have a short break and listen to Nicole Nordman's version of You Are My All in All as we sing this love song to the Lord. May this be a reflection to us Wait, that He's amen. the most important person in our life and as our best friend. Mm-hmm. Keep it here on Mango Mornings on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio. We are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God.
to heat and glare on your car with Mask Pro. Mask Pro Nano Ceramic Tint isn't just any other tint. Not only does it reject heat and block the sun's glare without compromising vision, it also provides your car added protection by making your windows and windshield shatterproof. So give your car the best care and protection with Mask Pro. For more information, send us a message on our Facebook page, Mask Pro Ceramic Tint, or call us at 0908-524-7777. Make it different with Mask Pro Ceramic Tint. Dreamt of becoming a pilot and have your office in the sky? Earn your pilot license in no time at Adventure Flight. Try out our Red Bird Flight Simulator absolutely free and be swept away by your imagination. Adventure Flight is located at Makan Cebu International Airport and Davao City International Airport. Contact us at telephone number 082-297-3255 or in our Globe Mobile number 0926-091-3689. You may also visit ISAT Davao Facebook page. Make every day an adventure. Free simulator located in Cebu is subject to schedule and availability. Call now. If you have a true friend and want to be an encouragement, pray for them. 
It's encouraging to people when you can tell them you have been praying for them yesterday, last night, and today. This is Mango Radio, communicating the love of God. Hi, welcome to Mango Radio. Amazing Grace on Mango Mornings, here on Mango Radio. And it's a beautiful Wednesday morning, everyone. Oh, it's already 8.01. Uh-huh. And you're still listening to Mango, Mango Mornings. Morning. Here on Mango Radio. Radio, we are communicating, communicating the love of God. God. My name is Bernie, together with Aya and Pastor JB. And definitely a beautiful morning. We've just heard, no? That's a wonderful sharing of Miss Nikki Tanya, mm-hmm. Mrs. Nikki Tan. Mm-hmm. And she shared with us the necessity for parents to be equipped, especially in helping their children, yes. their young kids, no? As, and also how to deal with their issues. Because can you imagine kids now have issues? Younger kids. You're right. And not only teenagers or even uh, young adults or more older adults, but even young kids. And we need to be equipped with with that mm. amazing and we thank you so much no for uh coming over mrs tan and sharing of course about the activities of the parents teachers fellowship of double christian high school mm. Mm. and of course we're not stuck with that and eventually we just have to uh, have a quick reminder especially if you're a car owner mm-hmm. and you'd like uh good quality car tint and nano ceramic coating so go for mass pro. pro they're located at sobrecarry street obrero davo city they offer superb coating that will give your car extra gloss extra shine and making it scratch resistant they also offer quality tint which rejects heat and blocks the sun's glare without compromising your vision providing you added security by making your windows and windshield shatterproof mm-hmm. well it's 2023 so just wait for new promos coming also Yes, again, superb coating and quality tint. Go for Mask Pro. Call them 0908-524-7777 or message them on their Facebook page, Mask Pro Davao. Hello and good morning once again to Sir Ryan Paco and the rest of the team, no, particularly the ladies. Ma'am Karen, Ma'am Dimple, Ma'am Jen, and Ma'am Riza. Mm-hmm. And uh, today, since it's already that time of the uh, morning, we are going to do the Ask Mosi. Yes. Pastor. Pastor. But before that, quick Ay. shout out to Ay. another Ay. of our ministry Ay, partner. Ay, well, yes. Before that, hindi so, makalimutan happy anniversary. I'm recalling si Kale McGraw yesterday talking about how uh, people might not be open right away to a bible study Ayon. but they might they might come over to your house for coffee uh-huh. yes and a conversation so why don't we give them the best and l- let's brew excellent coffee mm. for them mm-hmm. so if you want to do that for your loved ones or friends to reach out to them and also serve them why not train yourself in manual brewing techniques mm-hmm. which blue lizard coffee trading is offering with their home and cafe barista training workshop mm-hmm. so you will learn the four different manual brewing methods so that you can serve your loved ones and your newfound friends excellent coffee to know more about that you can uh, ask pastor ruben hernani and uh, check out ano yung mga upcoming na workshop schedules mm-hmm. so that you can take part in it. Once again, his once again, di pa nga ako nagsabi, di ba? Ano ba yung <laughs> contact number? So you can text or call Pastor Hernani at his mobile number 0939-908-9908. Once again, that's 0939-908-9908. Pastor Ruben Hernani. All right. Yon. And yes, speaking about pastors, now we have another pastor to share with us the word spiritual food mm-hmm. and uh, syempre, this section is uh, a segment is what we call ask mo si pastor and today we have this uh, very well timely uh, question it's because we've been talking about friends right mm-hmm. so pastor no we are going to ask you how can we love as a true friend 
Yun. May buntag, Pastor Edging. Good Ed morning, Jing. good morning. Pastor Edging, tariman pala. Alright. Ibayad kape, kape. Diretso na lang. Alright. Pastor Edging, tariman. Kasi nandito na si Pastor. Yeah, so, yeah. he's a, a returning uh, pastor, no? And yeah, Pastor Edging, tariman of Calvary. Calvary. Chapel. Chapel. Sa buhangin. Chapel. Yeah, wow. So, do share with us, how can we love as a true friend? Yes, that's a wonderful uh, question. A very profound question. And we know that as Christians, we need to show and demonstrate that love towards others. Mm-hmm. And we love because uh, He first loved us. Amen. Amen. Yet, ang Bible is very clear that as Christians, we need to be true friends. Mm. Even as non-believers, they showed love, yet ang ilahang love is just very conditional. Pero as believers, uh, we know that we are talking mostly to the believers, mm. we need to show them the love that is very unconditional. Mm. And to be specific, you don't uh, be conditional, but you need to show them the grace of God uh, uh, and through your forgiveness, uh, through your um, reaching out to them even though nakasila sila sa imuha. Mm. Right. And you need to be friend at all times Mm-mm. in good times and bad times. Mm-mm. Especially when they need you the most. Mm. So, hindi lang talaga sa good times, Pastor. Yes. Oo. Kay Mauna, ang kalibutan karon nga gugma. They love because uh, they have happenings. Mm-mm. May kailangan. Okay, may, may kailangan. kailangan or may they will you. just text you if mm. mangutang. Mm. Hala. Hala. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> Specific lagi kayo. Hala. Oo, na inanausahin. No? Oh, yeah. no? FC. Oh, oh, pero, oh. Matagal uh, ka hindi nag-usap. Tapos bigla mm. na lang, Uy, friend, kumusta ka? Mm. Pero kailangan. ang conclusion pala is, May kailangan. Uh, oh, may, may kailangan. Pero, of course, uh, the most important thing that you can show to that uh, friend or even dili kayo close friends Mm-mm. you need to show them uh, to love the Lord Jesus Christ by sharing the gospel mm-hmm. you need to be so concerned to their spiritual welfare mm-hmm. right of course you will also give them advices you Mm-mm. should also uh, reach out to them uh, through prayers, Mm-mm. through councils, Mm-mm. and many more, and so on and so forth. Mm. It's really coming alongside the person, and also, uh, I believe there's a there's a part of it as well, Pastor. Tama ba na? you you kind of die to your own concerns? Because <laughs> if you're a true friend, then you also check how they're doing, mm-hmm. and you take the time to know what's happening with them. Mm. We all have our own concerns, but if we love like Jesus, which is what we're called to do, mm. we die to ourselves yes. so that we can help them live yes. for Jesus. Yes. Mm. Uh, in fact, uh, you mentioned a bit in an implication of what Jesus said. If you follow me, uh, you must deny yourself, mm. take up your cross daily and follow me. Mm. Mm. So that is why the scripture says, uh, even the main text that we are we're expounding today, a friend loves at all times. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And a brother is born for a time of adversity. Mm-hmm. Oh. In other words, uh, this is uh, very explicit here. Uh, at all times. So ang friend daw, kailangan sa tanang panahon. Uh-oh. So, and then also, a brother is born for a time of adversity. In other words, uh, even in difficulties, you need to really uh, sympathize to them, to mm-hmm. be compassionate to them. Mm-hmm. Even um, in, in showing generosity, mm-hmm. you know, because uh, it really uh, blesses them Mm-mm. when you reach out to them even in a small way. Mm. Even in a little way, Mm-mm. that is how we can demonstrate our love right. towards our friends. Mm. There are situations, Pastor, na kanang maabuso ba ang pagkamaayo po. Yeah. No? Although we are commanded by God, of course, to love others and be a friend, a true friend at all times. No? Uh, where do we do- draw boundaries ba? Mm-mm. Pag uh, ng tanaw na ito nga, yes, willing man tamutabang, pero murag obvious naman kaayo nga. Yes. Gina- Abuso na ito ang yes, bro. Uh, red flag kayo. Yes, mm. uh, yes, Pastor JB. Uh, that is really one of the ways we can uh, mm. be discernment mm. 
Okay. Because oh, oh. Uh, dili sa tanang panahon nga sige kag kumbaga nagahungit ka mm. or nagabuhat ka og mga butang uh, wala kay discernment. Mm. It is very important for you to pray about it mm. whether to help this time or not mm. because there is really a, a timing. Mm-mm. There is really God's leading. Mm. In other words, kung ma sense ni mo nga kung itabang ni mo sa yaha is like uh, you you've heard about you know stories na gitabangan ni mo uh, even sa not to not not every beggar actually mm. naga pangayo sila o naga bisyo pero mm. naakay makita usahay no uh, nga tabangan ni mo mm. pero pagabot sa unahan gipalit ra daytog something uh, nah, ilahang mga you. bisyo mm. same thing sa circle po sa Christian na po uban nga manghiram mm. pero wala ka kabalo kung asa nila gamiton and yes. in even they will abuse your kindness mm. because uh, they thought na ikaw kristohanon God mm. will provide for you or you, you won't retaliate you won't do anything bad to them so parang may ganun, I don't know maybe some might think may pwede lang okay lang talaga na magsigi ako hingi Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a uh, uh, a very good one uh, observation, and we need to also admonish ourselves on that. Yes. We need to be warned on that, kay mm-hmm. as Christians, uh, sometimes uh, wala tay balance when we give. Mm. <laughs> oh, usahay uh, sobra ang imohang somehow ang imohang kaning ma manipulate ka or mm. somehow ma abuse ka because mm. of that. Uh, wala kay control when you help. Mm-hmm. So. It is so important as a friend that we need to be like Jesus Christ mm. because Christ is our ultimate example. Yes. Mm. He knows those people who are really in need. Mm. Mm-hmm. He knows those people who will ask him questions mm. yet they are insincerely asking asking those questions. Mm. So there is a time that he will give, there is a time that he will wait, mm. and surely there is a time that he will pray before mm. Uh, doing that certain thing that he will do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, loving a friend, uh, obviously, karon ato ang nahibaw ano na doesn't really equate to giving all the time. Yes. Pag mga yung imuhang friend, but it takes as a gingo ni Pastor Edging your discernment mm-hmm. that is to decide whether to give at this time or not. Yes. Or withhold that uh, mm-hmm. giving act mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. you wanna teach that person a lesson. Yes. Na dili magsalig sa imuha mm-hmm. kanunay, no. Um, there's this Chinese proverb, diba, na teach a man how to, how fish, to fish and he will. You, he will live forever. No? Mm-hmm. But give him a fish, he will live for a moment. So, I Absolutely. think that principle, Pastor, no, what do you think applies sa ato ang relationship yeah. with other people uh, yeah. in terms of giving? Of course, uh, I know that is not uh, you know, in the scripture, yet mm. we can learn a lesson from that uh, beautiful uh, Chinese proverb. So, mm. absolutely. Mm. Uh, that's uh, a lesson for discipline. Mm-hmm. Uh, Dilitas spoon speeder mm-hmm. or kanang hungit tirada mm-hmm. na about. Even in fact, uh, as we teach them how to uh, love the Lord Jesus Christ, as you teach them mm-hmm. to grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord, mm-hmm. you will also encourage them and you know encourage them in a way uh, they need to be corrected mm. they need to be rebuked Mm-mm. they need to be encouraged to mm. push through uh, that kind of uh, desire uh, to be hungry and thirsty mm. for righteousness oh. wow that's yes. a good reminder no because like um, you brought it up pastor especially for people who are what we call utilitarian <laughs> mm. manggamit so um na uban sila nga they go to church and join fellowship it's because they intend on getting something mm. and then mo pala inyo pagkaila mangutang dayon mm. diba murag dili na siya maayo no so syempre ikaw as a christian even though you'd like to help pero you have also that discernment mm. right? and you'll know that these are red flags and syempre you're not that gullible na mampod no that immediately you're going mm-hmm. to kwan dayon kay dali ra ka because you want to give and you want to help Mm-hmm. Pero siyempre na uban nga um kanay lagi mo biktima. Mm-hmm. Okay? Because uh, you know Filipinos we are soft-hearted. Oh. Yes. We generous are known, gen- known to be generous pero na ay side yun nga we need to really uh, go out from that uh, mm. you know behavior nga yeah. 
Kwanta yes. ka ng, we are kind of like timid not to really yeah. uh, talk to them straightforwardly. Mm. Maybe for our listeners or viewers, yung question, nasagot ata naman yung question natin uh. na, is it okay? I'm Christian, but is it okay if I have boundaries mm. when it comes to being a friend to someone? Mm-hmm. And part of that is just like what you shared, mm-hmm. Pastor, righteousness my kindness of course we give but Mm-mm. also it's balanced with righteousness mm. yes amen yeah, we're not truly loving if we kind of along the way just spoil yeah, the friend yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. going back to that also no, when setting about boundaries like for example you're a male guy oh, sorry, you're a male guy okay, male guy mm-hmm. okay and then um, you have a friend who's female mm-hmm. okay and then this person is distraught and asking for your advice diba? Mm-hmm. please no set the boundaries and make sure that you don't go kanin kamulang duha okay yes. because you know something might happen so uh, to avoid that right no, you always go for a group setting mm-hmm. and uh, you can show your love as a friend no by doing it as a group mm. okay mm-hmm. and if really dili siya ma help no because that person really needs kind of comfort refer them to a female friend mm-hmm. who will yeah. be there okay to for a shoulder to cry on or a hand mm-hmm. to really pat them no with comfort yeah because that's yeah, how you show yourself as a friend because you respect and you also you have protect. protect and have boundaries right mm. i agree that's right well we'll have more about this discussion after a short break uh, dive deeper into this topic for today uh, being a best friend uh, in terms of our relationship with god and of course in terms of our relationship with others in christ uh, stay tuned for more here in mango mornings on mango, mango radio. radio we are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of god, god. This is Max Lakato. The next time you like the will to go on, seek healthy counsel. You won't want to. Slumping people love slumping people. We love those who commiserate and avoid those who correct, yet correction and direction are what we need when we're tired. I discovered the importance of healthy counsel in a half Ironman triathlon. After the 1.2 mile swim and the 56 mile bike ride, I didn't have much energy left for the 13.1 mile run. Neither did the fellow jogging next to me. He said, this stinks. This is the dumbest decision I've ever made. I said, goodbye. (laughs) I knew if I listened too long, I'd start agreeing with him. I caught up with a 66-year-old grandmother who said, you'll finish this. Stay in there. Which of the two describes the counsel you seek? Proverbs 15.22 says, refuse good advice and watch your plans fail. Take good counsel and watch them succeed. Don't give up and get some good advice. This is Max Locato. God works according to what He has planned, not according to what you planned. Nonetheless, if your expectations are in line with His plans and perspective, then it would be easier for you to work with Him. And that's what we call it, relationship with partnership. A thought to ponder from Mango Radio, and we are communicating the love of God. First Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 3 We continually remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith your labor prompted by love and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ The three great Christian virtues were evident among them Number 1 faith number 2 love and hope Here Paul mentioned that their work was produced by their faith and their labor prompted by love and their endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. So we need these three essential things in our lives as we serve God and as we serve in the ministry and wherever God is putting you, He wants you to remember these three essential things. This is Pastor Edging of Calvary Chapel Dabao, you are tuning in on Mango Radio, communicating the love of God. 91.5-102.7 Mango Radio Testifying the life and death and resurrection of Christ 
for our salvation. This is Mango Radio. Amazing Grace on Mango Mornings. Hello friends and welcome to the Wednesday edition of Mango Morning Right here on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio We are communicating The, the love, love of God, God. Alright, I am joined by my fellow hosts Pastor JB Bernie And Aya, akala nyo hindi ko rin gagawin no? mm. So for our radio listeners, yes, this is still Mango Mornings with your host Pastor JB, DJ Bernie, and yours truly, Aya. And uh, also, hello to those of you joining us through our YouTube Live. Mm-hmm. Mango Mornings, episode 19, entitled Best Friend. And in our Ask Mo Si Pastor segment, we were uh, talking about how we can love as a true friend with our pastor, guest pastor, Pastor Ejing Tariman of Calvary Chapel, mm. Davao. And... Uh, yung punot dulo ng usapan is it's always pointed back to Jesus mm. what would Jesus do if Jesus is our perfect example we follow him if we want to be a good friend and to display that true love as a friend mm. to others so pastor uh, for our listeners and our viewers Ano yung siguro practical ways in which we can, it, it starts with us. So, practical ways in which we can show that we truly are friends in Christ. That's a wonderful question. Uh, to really uh, be practical and be so specific when it comes to showing and demonstrating the love towards our friends mm. even for casual friends mm-hmm. even for those friends that are come and go Mm-mm. you need to acquaintance, no? yeah acquaintance yes. in other words uh, you need to of course uh, look for opportunity to message them to share them ultimately the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and that is the biggest way you can show that love towards them mm. of course you need to be also concerned about them to pray for them to ask them a specific question how are you Mm-mm. how can i pray for you today uh, uh, let's have uh, time together especially for my friends my uh, church mates i always talk to them i always uh, ask them how are you Kumusta? and uh, I mean, uh, we were visited by friends yesterday we pr- we prayed for them wow. and and also uh, Kale actually mm. and uh, yes. Dan Hello they visited Kale. us for baby check uh, yesterday uh, so we had a good times uh, we eat lunch together at home and we talk about family and we prayed for each other and that mm. is how we can uh, demonstrate the love of the Lord through us and in us uh, that is uh, uh, I think uh, one of the ways you can uh, show that love is mm. to pray, to ask them, how are you? Mm. And of course, uh, extend compassion and forgiveness. Mm. Because the friends can really sense that you care for them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Amen. Well, uh, back in the Bible, there are examples of friendships. No? Atong mentioned Ganina, David yes. and Jonathan, mm-hmm. Paul, Timothy, uh, mm. Paul and Barnabas. No? Mm. Paul and so, Silas. Yeah, Paul and Silas. So the term friend is neatly connected to kanang uh, brother or sister yes. in the Lord. No, so yes. kanang there's this special oh, connection. Yeah. Dili ni mo sila exoon biologically, yes. but there's this uh, concept of being a brother and sister, especially in Christ. And the following verse in Proverbs seventeen seventeen. Uh, a friend loves at all times, but a brother is born for adversity. Yes, mm-hmm. closer even. No? Yes, so that emphasizes ba, the connection that remain dapat even in the most difficult times of 
a friend Mm-mm. or either person's life. Absolutely. No, kanang, ang tinuod nga amigo is magpabilin bisag messed up na kayo mong kinabuhi. Mm-hmm. Di ba, Pastor? Yes, I really experienced that. Mm. And by God's grace, uh, He uses me to minister to a lot of broken people, to a lot of devastated people, to a, to a, a lot of mga even they were in this this situation nga nakasala sila and mm. by God's grace and sufficient grace mm. uh, we help them to be restored mm. amen well that's uh, really the perfect example of a true friend no because mm. uh, wala tay laing gitan ako kundi si Jesus Christ mm. right. and in John 15:13 he said na um, greater love has no one than this than to lay down one's life for his friends amen, amen. Um, wala man ta naga encourage nga magpakamartir tano para sa ato ang mga amigo o amiga no but uh, laying down our lives for them is really denying ourselves mm-hmm. getting out of our comfort zone metaphorically yes mm-hmm. unahon nato sila kaysa sa ato ang sarili because mm-hmm. that is the command of the Lord yeah right, you visit them you mm-hmm. of course uh, like for instance na ato yung mga sitwasyon sa simbahan sa una uh, na ay na abuse na ilang anak mm-hmm. so Listen kay nga i-message message lang nimo nga we care for you. We right. yes. prayed about uh, the situation. Yeah. But uh, ang imo ang dapat buhaton is you visit them. Yeah. To really show that you care for them. Uh-oh. Physically yeah. you're there for Uh-oh. them. Oh, dapat uh, bisitahon gyud nimo sila. Ang help usually dili man lang siya financial. Yes. No, even your presence. Mm-mm. Nak to inabasa na ko nga book sa ora tong The Conspiracy of Kindness by uh, Pastor Bob Shogren. Ano siya sa young pastor daw. Hindi siya kabulong saon pag address sa kanang mga needs sa young members. In fact, na siya members both are elders in mm-hmm. age and also their elders in church. Mm-hmm. Now, ilang son was uh, kaning, I think, murdered. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, oh ano sila nga, ano siya nga, how do you comfort someone who losing some, their, their son in this way and then they've been serving the Lord? Mm. I know. So, he doesn't know what to do and he has, mm. ano siya, nalando siya dito and he cried with them. Absolutely. Mm. Yeah, and you then, mourn with those who he, mourn. Yeah, he mourned with them. And then, after the, the burial, the couple uh, went to him and said, thank you for sharing in our sorrow. Amen. Oh. And in our grief, wow. thank you for being there for us. So, a mm. friend, no, is always there for you. Maski goy kwarta. Amen oh, bro. Oh, Kuno ko kay kwarta lang ta kung na kay ako uh, mm-hmm. friend lang ta ako na kay kwarta. Mm-hmm. Dili al na no as a Christian we're called to be more than that. Right. Amen. Yeah. And mm-hmm. that is what Jesus did actually sa yahang mm-hmm. friends yeah. while he was still here on earth being present yes. in every season of their lives. Amen. Pastor any final message ato ang listeners so we can wrap up today's yes, discussion. Yes, uh, of course <laughs> uh, we really expanded this topic of love mm. uh, pinaagi sa pag-amigo sa imong mga amigo yes mm. rather and of course uh, to greet my friends mm. <laughs> yes i uh, just want to uh, greet my parents first uh, this is uh, today is their 43rd anniversary Uy, wow congrats salamat sa imo inyo hang kinabuhi mapa mm. i love you all Aww. thank you for tuning in and of course to my beloved wife she just gave birth no? last week. Congratulations! Verma! In our Negritia Sophie. Negritia Oh, yeah. Hi, Dao. Hello. Also, it's our YouTube live. Wow. Third, na, third, third uh, <laughs> child. Girl or boy? Evan, yes. Yeah, si Evan Lucas. Lalaki. Oh, boy. That is so nice. Mm. And then, of course, to our church mates. Um, uh, sa Bohangin, Pungasi mm-hmm. family. Sester family, Bangarja family, Lano family, Laga family, um, tanan nga mga pamilyas. Of course, uh, of <laughs> course families. to my siblings, uh, to my brother Junjun, to my ate Sheila, and to my um, younger uh, sister, si Baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, belated happy birthday as well. Wow, mm-hmm. belated happy birthday. Alright. Uh, Pastor yes. Ejing, salamat yes. kayo for another time ni Mohang Gispen sa mm-hmm. Amoa. And of course, may muna nato siyang regular nga guest, no? Yes. Um, salamat sa On particular sa, uh, mm-hmm. events. Ay, episodes. Episodes. Rather. Nag-cover so, lang siya karon actually for uh, uh, another pastor. Sa so, Mac True Fan, mm-hmm. kaya nag-cover ko sa Amoa. Yes, so thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and thank you to our live stream viewers sa YouTube. Um, today's winners are DJ Aya. Kinsa ba? Kinsa? Yeah, so hopefully you're from Davao. Uh, yung ating first honor. Mm-hmm. Si Leilani Joy and Dilab. Uh. Nanalo ka ng Mango Radio Bag Limited Edition from Korea. Please uh, contact us no, sa ating Facebook Messenger so we can instruct you how to claim your back. Yes. May buntag sa mga naghabol o uh, greetings nila Irish Pelonio mm-hmm. and of course a wife ni Pastor Edging no. Si oh definitely. Zermali. Bigyan niya ng bag. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ilagay ang baby a joke. <laughs> Hello also to Myra Hosol, may pagpaminaw mm-hmm. Helen Aligain. Salamat kay Hello sa Mama. Mama Helen. Mm-hmm. Wait na pa. Granny Christy once again, thank you. Four, uh, 7431, good morning mm-hmm. and have a blessed uh, day to you as well. And uh, wala lang alam. <laughs> Buta yung alam na ikalimut ha. Teddy Man Lubatan, good morning to you and uh, have a great day as well. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Well friends, we are sad to say this but we have to say our goodbye for today. Kay... Uh, Nakurot na ito ang oras. But anyway, it was a good discussion oh, about yes. uh, our friendship with the Lord. And let us not uh, cut that friendship uh, as we continue to cultivate our relationship with God daily by reading His words, listening to His voice sensitively and attentively so mm-hmm. that we will never miss a thing from Him. Amen. We will leave you with Caleb and Kelsey's uh, There Was Jesus. Mm. What a friend we have in Jesus. Uh, Mashup. Mashup. Yes. No. Well, this is Mango Mornings here on Mango, Mango Radio. Radio. My name is Pastor JB. This is Aya. And I'm Bernie. And we are continuously communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God. See you tomorrow. Good job, guys. Every time I try to make it on my own. Every time I try to stay and I start to fall. And all those lonely roads that I have traveled on There was Jesus When the life I built came crashing to the ground When the friends I had were nowhere to be found I couldn't see it then, but I can see it now There was Jesus In the waiting, in the searching, in the healing, in the... The views and opinions expressed in today's program are those of the host and do not necessarily state or